it's almost impossible for, well, it's not impossible, nothing is impossible, but, but it, it very rarely happens that a student will come to you. And I would love if students will come to me and say they are struggling. No, nobody does. I'm Saurav Kumar. I am an assistant professor at School of Sustainable Engineering and Built Environment. When we went in, one of the, our key ideas was to get some data, and not just data from one school, but three schools. So we had uh, University of South Florida, Alabama A&M, and ASU together to see what benefits can we get from adaptive learning. What essentially adaptive does, the part where students are supposed to learn on their own is not just fixed. It's not watch this video and, and come back and work on the class. It's like we have a learning tree for you so you watch the videos you answer questions and depending on how you answer we provide you more feedback maybe something more to learn maybe say oh you don't need to do this so we create a learning path for you without it a lot of people aren't as disciplined to do the work on their own it pushes students to actually address the content before class and lecture itself and then that way they understand what they're not understanding before lecture itself the course that we adapted it to is numerical methods. It's mathematics heavy. It's a very one of those classical STEM courses which every school has it. If you do not have some mathematical background, or you forgot them and you join the ASU a bit later, and you need some help, but that's not covered in this course, but we can add a separate module and let's revise that. It allows us to target topics that students are struggling on. And very crucially, it also lets me know that there are a whole bunch of students who are struggling with this. As a TA, I think it helps me understand more what students are getting confused on. If one of the cool things is the TAs have taken this course already. So they know that the course material is coming and they also crucially know where people struggle. We're accessible and so if you have a question you can just ask a teaching assistant. And I would love if students will come to me and say they are struggling. Typically they don't do that. So we have to pick up on metrics. Students are more satisfied with adaptive learning. They appreciate the individualization and that bears out in the data. But I also feel that they appreciate the fact that they can do this on weekends. They can do this at their own schedule. Also, while we are trying, we need to test this and we need to make sure we are not losing anything vital in the process of bringing everything to adaptive lessons. It has to be tested very, very well.